In Northeast Kentucky, Brady Industries has announced a few changes within the last couple of months. Now, students enrolled in the Advanced Integrated Technologies Program at the Ashland Community and Technical College could be affected by those changes. 13 News reporter Lane Ball has the story. The Ashland Community and Technical College will be graduating students enrolled in the Advanced Integrated Technologies Program this spring. The AIT program is part of Brady Industries' plan to hire students straight out of college and into the workforce. The graduating class had high hopes when the former CEO, Craig Bouchard, visited the campus on several occasions last year. The announcement of Bouchard stepping down, along with a pushback on the aluminum mill's opening date, has left some students concerned for their future career with the company. It's been so long already with nothing happening. You know, we, we go to school there every day and we see the same empty field. You know, they put a fence up, they put some banners up, but still nothing being done. It's just kind of disheartening. Students enrolled in the AIT program were looking forward to a job after graduation. Now with the recent news of the pushback on construction, the graduating class will be left to find work elsewhere. One of the students at ACTC, who prefers to remain anonymous, says that this was a huge upset. You know, two years is a long time of your, you know, your life. Um, to, to go to school or change their program because, you know, Brady said, hey, we're coming, we're going to be right here in Ashland. Definitely, it's definitely not a good thing that they pushed it back even further. A Brady Industries executive says that the company is confident that the aluminum mill will become a reality. The $1.7 billion project is still waiting on over a half a billion dollars of funding in order to begin construction. Kentucky taxpayers have a $17 million stake in Brady's plan to build the mill. And with the closing of the AK Steel plant last year, the local community is hoping the plant will go through with its original plan. All the money the school spent on this stuff that this program was designed for Brady and now here we are, there may not even be a Brady. I hope they do, but I, I feel about like 90% of the community does that it's, it's never going to happen. You know, it's just another letdown for our area, you know. In Ashland, Lane Ball, 13 News, working for you.